Hey guys, welcome back to Unreal Labs. I wanted to follow up uh, from the last video we did on port channel, uh, the LACP port channel video, and uh, turn both those interfaces on switch one and switch two back into a trunk. And then I also wanted to show you how to make those a routed interface. This will be a pretty short video. Um, I have created BTP between switch one and switch two, um, and I haven't set any IPs on uh, PC one and PC two. Uh, I will do, I'll, we will set the IPs there for the, the routed port just so we can see that. Do some, I guess, IC, ICMP testing between there. I did add a video cam. Um, there's my lab in the back. Sorry, my office is a little messy, but uh, yeah, I wanted to throw a little video on there and we'll follow up with this. So let's check uh, switch one and switch two. Let's have a drink of coffee here. Swig of Java. So I've got gig zero, zero, and zero, one, and then that port channel, those are running and configured. So the next is gonna be pretty easy. Let me uh, get my displays running around here. So all we gotta really do to turn these into a trunk, actually let's show you the, so switch one does have show VLAN brief. So I did create VLAN 10 and 20. Uh, IT and guest just some made up VLANs. And then if you, we check here, show VLAN brief, uh, we shouldn't see those because we don't have a trunk between uh, one and two yet. So even though VTP is set up on switch two, so let's go into config T on switch one. Um, and then let's go into that PO1 interface. And then all we really need to do here, actually let's show that, show interface PO1. Oops, I actually don't want to do that. I want show run interface PO1. So that's the config currently on it. So we're gonna do interface PO1. And then all we're gonna do here is switch port trunk encapsulation.1q and switch board mode trunk. And that will at least switch one into a trunking, into trunking over to switch two. Now switch two might come up because uh, I, it should auto desired mode. The trunk should sh show up on switch two. That's why you, you do want to shut that down. We should, I'll do a video on that too, on like securing switch boards so trunks just don't magically happen. Um, so if we do show interface status here, include connected, uh, you can see that switch two actually formed a trunk. Uh, but we do want a hard con we do want to make a hard configuration in the switch. So I'm going to go into configure uh, config T interface P01 on switch two, and we're going to do the same thing. So switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q, switch port trunk and on the newer switching uh or the new ios you don't the uh, encapsulation.1q i think is actually not there anymore so it might just be switched because it just it's not going to let you choose like isl which is uh, cisco proprietary um yeah so we have a trunk now so if we do show land brief here sorry for the Console. So, like I said, I have VLAN 1, 10, and 20. If we look at switch 2 now, to show VLAN brief, we should see 10 and 20. And that was because I did set up VTP between them. So, if you don't have VTP, if you're not using VTP, then you just make 10 and 20 on, on switch 2. That's all you'd need to do. So, that concludes the. Actually, let's show the configuration so like i said it's not you don't have to put you don't have to actually do the uh interface gig zero zero and gig zero one into a trunk like you don't have to make uh you don't have to put that config in here you make you put that config actually in on the port channel interface all right well um let me set up the lab again i'll be right back and uh, let me pause the video and then we'll i'm going to strip all this out and then we'll do the routed interface i'll be right back all right, guys, I'm back. Uh, cleared the interfaces or cleared the trunks the configuration off the port channel. And then um, I've set some new IPs here for PC1 and PC2. So 
uh, we're going to put some subnets in. So um, PC1 will be in 10.168.1.0 slash 24. And PC2 will be in 172.68.1.0.254. The VLAN 1 interfaces, uh, I should put that in here, here, just so I remember. Um, let's duplicate that. So VLAN 1 on switch 1 and switch 2 will have, VLAN 1 on switch 2 will be 172.16.1.1. VLAN 1 on switch 1 will be 192.168.1.1. And then we'll make this a uh, little 30 uh, between switch 1 and switch 2 in this port of the port channel. And we'll, we'll have to add some default routes here too, just some static routes. Um, so switch 1 and switch 2 know where to go for these, for these subnets. So uh, pretty simple. Let's get started. Let's configure VLAN 1 here. Interface VLAN 1. Um, and that's, we're on switch one, so that should, and then IP address, 192, whoops, I always default to 172, 192, 168.1.1, 255, 255, at zero, and then we're going to no shut that, and it should have went back to up, and we'll configure VLAN 1, interface VLAN 1, IP address 172.16. Let me uh, hit enter here so you see that. No shut. All right. And then VLAN 1 should, it should show up here. It should come back up. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then let's add um, the default routes here. If you route, well, not default routes, just add route. Uh, if you route, and then we're going to go, we're on switch two. So 192, 168.1.0, right? And then remember, hit your question mark if you're, if you're confused, but we're going to do a slash 24. And then the gateway, I'm going to set it at this 10, 10.001. So this will be one, this will be two. even though it doesn't know where to go right now. But let's just get those set up. IP, so we're switching over to switch one, IP route, uh, 172.168.1.1, and then 255, uh, 1.1, 1.0, 255, 255, 255, 0, and that's 10.0.0.2. Show IP route. Show IP. Uh, just so you guys see the commands, I need to turn off the console logging. All right. Well, gateway is not set. We could have just set a default gateway, but let's uh, show run. Just look over the running config on switch one here. All right, so we have our port channel one interface, and then gig zero zero and gig zero one are in that channel group one. And if we scroll down, but it's keep on scrolling, we'll be uh, interface VLAN 1. We set the IP address for switch 1 as uh, 192.168.1.1. And then we have our route here um, to 172.16.1.0. Let's go and show the run on this guy on switch 2. Let me scroll back up a little bit. The so same thing, four channels configured, gig zero zero and gig zero one are member LAC LACP members interfaces, and then VLAN one is set up, and then IP route uh, is pointing to 192.168.1.0.10.0.0.1. So now we need to um, put the port channel interfaces. Uh, we need to assign IP addresses to each side of that. So let's jump into that. Actually, let's jump into it over on switch one here. Um, 
sorry, I had a message come in there. Uh, config T interface P01, right? And we're going to IP or no switch port that we want to turn it into a layer three interface. So no switch port, right? Boom. And then we're going to assign the IP. Whoops. Put that IP address 10.0.0.1255255255.252. And, and then we'll jump over to switch two. And we'll be doing the same thing. So config T interface P01, no switch port. I'm going to wait for those things to scroll over here real quick. IP address 10.0.0.2255255255252. And then let's test some connectivity between switch one and switch two here. Make sure we can, uh, we're getting responses. Oh, it went down. Hold on. Check our port channel real quick. Sorry. Yeah, it's down right now. Uh, so yeah, I had to do a little troubleshooting, but uh, sorry about that. Looks like when I uh, no switch port, <clears throat> when I took the layer two to layer three interface, uh, let's show run on this real quick on switch two. Um, it blew off the the mode active here, and I needed to. I actually need to make these no switch ports. I Forgot that. Sorry about that. Can't know everything. That's why we lab. So config T interface. We're on switch two. So config T. We'll want to do. You'd want to do this on switch one. Let me show the run. Yeah. So here's the run there. So uh, we know switch port right. IP address. We set that uh, for switch one ten zero zero one slash thirty. Um, I had a no switch port. Uh, gig Ethernet 00 and 01, and then I needed to actually reapply the channel group one mode active. Um, so let's do that. So interface range gig 00 on two here, no switch port, and then channel group one mode active. And that should come up. Show ether channel summary. Yeah, we're good now. Uh, so we should do some ping tests. So ten dot zero dot zero dot zero dot one. Let's make sure that's up. That's good. So switch one's got communication with itself. Uh, it's able to get to switch two, and then let's uh, let's test PC two here. Let's see if we can get to one seventy two sixteen um, one dot one, and then we'll go to one dot ten. One dot one's good, and then it's ten good. Let's see here, yep, it's good. And we could do that all the way back through switch two, but let's go, let's jump to switch uh, that PC one there and let's uh, ping 172.16.1.10. And we have replies. So yeah, there we go. Simple configuration. Um, I didn't realize that when I no switch ported the port channel, it stripped the configuration. Uh, off of gig zero zero and zero one and you also need to no switch port those interfaces which makes sense um yeah so you learn something every day um should have went through it but i it's been a while since i've made one uh that's routed anyways uh but yeah um i'm going to be doing a video next week uh on wasu it's a sim i've been using 
in my lab just for testing and security. So I was going to do a couple of videos of, uh, of that uh, probably the next couple of weeks here, just going over logs and how to add uh, events, uh, maybe some Cisco logging that gets was who. So stay tuned. Uh, appreciate all the new follows and uh, the likes. And yeah, I'll keep on making videos. And sorry about my mess at of the office. Uh, we'll check back in soon. Thanks again.